More than a dozen Long Islanders who usually work in an office have less than three weeks to get into fighting shape. That's no small feat. Joda Goldberg shows us how an annual charity event turns business people into boxers for a good cause. Landon Lights Out Litigator is giving it his best shot. The Uniondale-based attorney is no pro. He's just one of 18 white-collar workers getting ready to duke it out in the ring for Long Island's 13th fight for charity event. Heavy bag, jump rope. I come here twice a week and I'll work out twice on my own. So it's, it's tough, two hours each session. He's passed his minimum goal of raising $5,000. Dr. Ron Mazza hopes to triple that. The chiropractor is a repeat contender. And while he may be the oldest one, the Mazacutioner means business. I've been very successful with my career, and I've always felt that you need to give back to people that don't have the same opportunities or just don't have the possibilities for that. Both players exchanging blows. Over a thousand people packed the Hilton in Melville. The boxing bouts are three one minute rounds. The winners are the Long Island charities that benefit from the boxers' hard work. Anything that we can do to, to help raise, if it's money, you know, uh, to help fund a lot of the things that the communities are doing, you know, it's, uh, this is just a small way of giving back. They get into great shape and they realize that, you know, they're doing something really good by getting themselves into the ring, taking a couple of punches to help. All right. And after gearing up, I quickly learned it's not easy work. Ah, come on, you're going under. These guys just make it look good. Ah, good, good. Come on, come on. So the main event is November 21st, and it's too late to get into the ring this year, but next year, it's all fair game. In Westbury, just call me Jab and Jody Goldberg. Wow, look Jab at her and Jody. Go. All right, Jab and we Jody. Like it.